go over that first, okay. I guess. Well, my final four, you got Pitt, Oklahoma, Memphis, Louisville. I believe that's the way it's going to work out. Pitt and Memphis going out against each other. Memphis back in the national championship for the second straight year. And the reason why, again, Oklahoma with Blake Griffin, when he's in the lineup, he's in the best player in the country. All right, and we will talk more next week uh, about your selection change. Eisenberg. Looking at my final four, it's a little bit the same as for Kedix. The only difference I have North Carolina over Oklahoma. And the one reason I have it, yeah, Blake Griffin's great, but him and Hansbro kind of equal each other out. I'll give the advantage probably three or four points more to Blake Griffin, but they don't have Lawson on the outside. I don't care if he has a bad toe. He can still average 15 points. There's not going to be anybody that can D him and Green and Thompson up all at the same time. UNC is just too talented of a team to lose to an Oklahoma team. And I have Pitt winning it all. They remind me of Kansas last year. Solid, solid defense, and they have that one inside guy and that one outside guy. Sam Young can step out and drain a nice big shot at any time. And Professor Barry. All right, my final four consists of the following. It has I have Connecticut, which kind of is you know a little weird because they Ten have seconds. lost with uh, deer, with the Dyson, but I have Pitt over Oklahoma just because of the outside game. Penn State. Ten uh, wins in the Big Ten. Ten wins in the Big Ten, man. Right. That's what I got to say. We will talk about that in the Come future because I know there's a lot of viewers out there yeah. that are Penn State fans. We will talk about that. YouTube.com, search the Pioneer Sideline, <laughs> PioneerSideline.com, or, of course, MySpace. We want to thank everybody. We are running out of time.